Okay. Next video is for average rate of change. Um, so if it was a straight line, if the function was a straight line, we would be able to determine slope because it's straight, which means that the rate of change will never change on a straight line. Here, however, we've got a curve the whole way. There's no point on here where it's a straight line. So I need to find what's called the average rate of change. It's over a given interval of the x-axis. So if I just give you this and ask you to find the average rate of change, you can't because I didn't give you a starting point and an ending point. So let me give you a starting point and an ending point. I want the average rate of change on the interval from negative 5 to negative 3. Remember, these are x values. So you're going to locate negative 5 on the graph, and you're going to locate negative 3 on the graph. Okay? Now I want to know where f of x is at those two x points. So the f of x values at negative 5, f of x is negative 4. And at negative 3, f of x is 0 because it's on the x-axis. So my points are actually right here, which is negative 5 comma negative 4, and right here, which is negative 3 comma 0. Now I'm able to actually draw a line. I'm trying to find the slope of that line. That's what this is really asking for. So you could do this a number of ways. We can do it the really long way, which I won't in this video, and I could put it into the slope formula, right? So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. But we don't want to do that. That's too much work. I can just simply do rise over run. So from this point, I can go 1, 2, 3, 4 units up and 2 units to the right. So the slope of the line is 4 over 2, which gets simplified to just 2. So the average rate of change on the interval from negative 5 to negative 3 is 2.